Hey, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight here. I'm going to talk about adding in special windows into PlusSpec. It's reasonably easy, just a matter of knowing how. Okay, so basically all I'm going to do here is just draw some walls. Let's close this stuff down. Here, I'll draw four walls. The walls are no special height. I'm not really concerned about that. It's just a matter of showing you how to do it. And usually I do this kind of thing last. However, you might want to do it first. So I've got my four walls in there. Now we don't want to mess around and cut things in and so on. So essentially all I do is I go down to here. Select my window, corner window, go submit. Now, it's you can turn this window around so I can put it on any corner. However, the best way to install a window is from the inside out. Okay. So all I'm actually doing is you notice that it's lined up with there. Now I can put it down as far as I want it to be. So I might select that window and move it down. Or you can use the up and down arrow if you want to go left and right or whatever. Okay, I'm just going to put it down here and I'm going to type in, well at the moment the, the window's a metre high. Type in a metre so it drops into a metre. Now what I have to do is just split my walls, it's pretty simple. Walls, split wall, here, and go enter. Same over here. Enter. Now change the height of the wall, or the two walls. You can use the wall menu down here, or you just go to walls, edit wall, and reduce it by a meter if you wanted to sit at the top. Submit. As you can see, I have that there. Now I might want it to be in the center of the wall. So what I'm going to do is select the two walls again. Walls, edit wall. I'll drop it down another meter and I'll put a meter wall above it. Okay, so I'll just go down to 1, 2, 2, 1. The reason why it said that is my header height is above the height of my window, so I just said basically change this. Doesn't matter, you can make it zero if you want to. Submit. Alright, I can now move my window down another meter, or I can make my window higher if I chose. Uh, so enter change my window. Change the height of my window. And you can see that I need a little wall up here. Now it depends on what you're going to do there. You might want to use a different type of wall or you might still want to use a brick veneer wall. If you are going to use a veneer wall, just use these walls here. Go up on your axis if you push control. And you'll notice that I still have my steel walls there. And all I want to do is go in here and go shift once I'm on my blue axis. Shift, top of the window, and there we have it. Now obviously I just got to reduce the height of the wall so I need to know how high that wall is from here to here and 200 millimeters. These two walls should now be 200 millimeters. Now structurally, they're going to need a structural engineer here and that's another video and I have done it in a previous video where it's essentially you go to here, choose the size of steel, you might have a post out here, you'll notice if you've got load here, this is all been, would be done by the engineer, the framing is still actually correct because you might have a beam over the top. It is parametric as well so therefore you can still change it around. I'll get into some other windows. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. Go to your window tool and in our dialog down here we're just going to go in here and go none submit and you might want to put in several different widths it's important to remember the width of the window to save you a little bit of time later if I write in a meter I can put one here and I say I want this one here to be two meters okay I can do the same thing back up to here go to my 
my windows, choose the type of window that I want to put in. Now that window is actually around back to front, so I'll show you how to fix that. With your move tool, you'll notice it comes up with these little arrows here. I probably should have put it outside of 180 degrees or whatever it is you're moving it. That was 174, write in 180, enter. Obviously my wall wasn't on axes, so I control Z it. So I went 174 and then I wrote 180 on top. Okay, move your window in to where you want it to locate. Usually it would be on the internal lining. You can simply go and change that. I'll also use the same window next to it as well, and you'll see how I do this. Okay, you can move these up and down, in or out, or whatever you want to do. Uh, some windows can scale. This one here won't actually do it, and you'll see what happens. Right, that wasn't what I was after. So what I want to do is, this one's going to be a different size. This one I'm going to go right click, component tool, edit component, and I'm pretty sure I made that two meters wide. So you can change the height, the thickness, and everything else as well. <coughs> I change this window over here. Can't remember what the opening was. As I said before, remember your opening two meters. Yep. Width two meters. Okay, and I'm just going to move it over to where I want it to be. Now obviously I want to fill these gaps in here. Physically you don't touch the framing because this is still how it supports. All you need to do is actually select the brickwork. And this isn't parametrics, this is going to undo it, so do it last. Just put the window in the way I showed you. Move it down and cut your arch. If you want to cheat you can actually go and select this line inside of the component if you want to. Right, control C. And you can go control V. Just get back inside of here. Now I can push and pull my linings away. And I have. I probably should, should have been a little bit more careful with that. I actually needed to lower it down a touch. It's only because when I dragged, if you look in here, I didn't drag this top section down low enough. So I'm just going to leave it over here for a second. It's good to make mistakes while you do this because it helps you learn why things happen. Push pull. I really want to snap to where that window there, there we go. Move this back over. Right. You can also hide any of this other stuff here that you don't want. And now you notice that I have, and the same applies to the inside as well. You can just pull exactly the same down and paste, and it'll actually do the same thing I'll just show you do this at the end guys there's no need to to do this now you just put the window in to suit yourself yep if I go edit paste in place it's already there for me see go on I now have a wall that is still parametric, however if I redrew it you will notice that it will go back to square. So keeping those in copy and paste, going back to this window here. 
I want it to be a meter. or tinting if you want it. All right, move the window to where you want it to be. Once you do this several times you actually get used to which way the components move left and right and you'll notice that I now have several different types. You can do that with any type of window uh, and it happens reasonably quickly. I'll just show you what happens if I redrew the wall or I change to brick so you know. And this is the reason why I do it last. See that? Just brought it back. So it just means I've got to push and pull it down. It's a couple of minutes work. You can also take the lintel out if you choose. It depends on the span of the window basically or what the engineer says. Okay. Alright, I hope that helps out.